Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for visiting me today. I've got for you another pop-up uh, thingy for your journals or for birthday cards. It's beautiful opening with flying butterflies. I do have uh, also designs which will be available on my Etsy. So let's get started. This is how today's designs looks printed on A4 size sheet of paper. I used 200 GSM uh, cardstock to print it out. And uh, here you have tag which will be moving all these butterflies. Here you have parts for one butterfly and here is second butterfly. These two are top wings, these two are bottom wings. Same is here. These two are top wings, these two are bottom wings. There is body of the butterfly. And here are additional butterflies. So I'm gonna fussy cut out all these images. Don't forget to cut this little tack also with those sides that belongs all together. I do have to cut out all these images. As you can see, these are top wings, these are bottom wings. You can uh, mixed colors if you will want so because these designs can go really nicely together the color uh, tone it's not that different so they can go nicely together I do have these fussy cut out and here we have this um, moving part so we need to make two cuts in this moving part here this line and this line I'm gonna get my knife and roller and cut into that image. I'm gonna try to keep cutting just in the line. Here and the bottom one, it's same. So I made two cuts, one it's here, one it's here. Now I'm gonna take this ball point and I'm gonna score all lines, all these lines, these small dot lines and also lines on the sides of this tack. So I'm gonna start there and go to that opposite side. So one is here, one is here in the middle, all the way. Then these small ones. The opposite side. And this one. So I did embossed all these lines. So now it will be much more easy to fold everything what I need. So here I'm going to fold it down. And I'm going to also fold the sides of these triangles. So once this it's folding, the triangles should go down. And I'm going to take my bone folder and press everything. Try. So I think this is ready. And 
And because I'm wor working with vintage design uh, journal, I'm gonna be using Distress Ink from Spectrum Noir Harmony Line. This is seal brown and I'm gonna distress edges on all my images to give them a little bit of vintage vibe. I'm gonna be also using this clear resin and I'm gonna add the resin to bodies of the but butterflies and I think to those top wings as well to make them more shiny and also stronger. So first I'm gonna add it to the bodies. So I have added glossy or that uh, resin on my little pieces also a little bit here on these flowers and now I can try to assemble them. I'm gonna take my piece I'm gonna take a pencil and first I'm gonna align this fold with my middle fold here and create a mark right here I'm gonna put the glue on this side and glue my piece in there. Matching the edge of my, uh, of this piece with my mark. So this, it's same measurement like this. Now I'm gonna apply the glue on the opposite side. Gonna fold it this way. Push those triangles, fold this. Apply the glue here. And fold opposite side and press. Before you will start to move it, give it uh, give it some time to dry the, the, to that glue to dry. So I think it could be. Yeah, it looks, yeah, good. It looks like it's holding. And now we're gonna glue the butterflies. So first, I'm gonna start to glue bottom wings. This one I will need to cut a little bit and separate it right here in this fold. So I'm gonna start with this that I can glue straight away. Now I'm gonna place this one here, make a mark with my finger, kind of fold it over the edge and cut before that fold. Now 
Now I'm gonna take these wings. I'm gonna add the glue just on the end and place the wing right here. And the opposite one. And now body of the butterfly. I'm gonna put a glue just here on this longer side and just behind that cut. And on that I'm gonna slide the body of the butterfly. It's like this and I'm gonna continue with that uh, other image as well. And I'm gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna give it dry. The first foldings you may will need to push the triangles down, but I think it looks good. And we are opening and closing and opening again. And then we do have here loads of others butterflies so you can glue them just on the page or you can use them as uh, extra decoration if you do have piece of acetate you can cut it on strips and glue it around these butterflies I do have here piece of acetate two pieces of acetate uh, and I'm gonna choose two butterflies I think this one could be nice and maybe this one so first I need to add the butterfly to that acetate sheet uh, for that I'm gonna be using double-sided tape and just add a little bit of that double-sided tape here on my piece of that acetate and then place it to my butterfly and I think I'm gonna glue it right here I'm gonna add strip of double-sided tape here as well about one inch half inch that should be enough to hold it and now it can use this acetate and glue it To the wing here and try and we are picking just a little bit so I think I can leave it like it is and I can do same with that other butterfly Add it to the wing, then add a piece of double sided tape here, and then choose the position for my butterfly. And I think I'm gonna place it here. And give it a try. <laughs> and I'm picking out with two. But they are flying. And those others, you can use more of those acetate pieces. Just always try if they are not somehow crossing each other. 
and you can use them as decoration here and there place them on your card or on on your pages so there is lots of butterflies to choose from So I'm just going to place them on my page. So maybe here. And I'm going to try one more time. Ah. Close and open. So this is my sharing for today this interactive page with beautiful butterflies flying around and opening their wings you still have space here maybe for journaling spot or for pocket so you can add there something what you like and this can be added to your journal you can glue it on your journal page and have it like an extra opening so this is my sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it i hope you like this idea and you will try it. Uh, link for Etsy uh, for my Etsy shop will be down below where you can find this uh, this uh, pop up design. My Patreons have it already uh, in the post on my Patreon. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself, and I will see you soon. Bye.